after one it's 103 we literally stopped at this place by the road that's a good lookout i don't know where we are in bosnia honestly but we're in bosnia on the way to sarajevo i think i have about like an hour hour and a half left on the bus i mean this view is like crazy right so the drive here from croatia has actually been really really pretty for what i've been awake for it's been really really pretty but this is probably the best view that i've seen this whole time so i think um bosnia is probably a really really gorgeous country soon we should be in sarajevo it's 1 41 we still haven't left because something is wrong with the bus I would say that is probably the strongest metaphor for this trip. We're probably an hour, maybe even less, outside of Sarajevo. Like, we're at the hem. We're at the hem. I don't even know what you all are going to get to see. Um, this is probably going to be a very short vlog. <laughs> because I leave here tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just ready to go home now. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't have any more fight left. I hope you enjoy the view behind me that I recorded an hour ago now because it's probably all you're going to see of Bosnia. A lot of stuff has happened this trip that has never happened to me before. I travel so much. I've never gotten robbed. And I travel on buses so much, never had a bus breakdown. Yo, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything since yesterday, like last night, because most places like that we've stopped our cash only I don't have any cash because my wallet is gone I'm the only one on here who doesn't speak Croatian so I don't I don't know what the hell is going on but I just know everyone's standing outside the bus looking confused it's comical at this point how shitty this all has been and I usually don't even like swear on my channel for real but y'all there's not another word for the past 24 hours of my life other than shit so I hope this gets resolved soon um, because I was looking forward to leasing a piece of Sarajevo in the daytime I don't know if that's going to happen my flight tomorrow leaving Sarajevo isn't until 2 45 p.m. so at least I might get to like you know wake up early in the morning and like do a little you know something something but I mean yeah I don't have nothing else to say. I'm over it. This is the face of someone who is over it. Summer Walker, over it. So this is our bus. Um, we are about to change to this bus that pulled up because as you can see, our bus is not working. But now they're trying to get our luggage out of this bus and it's not opening. If it ain't one thing, it's another. It is 2.35, we are on the other bus. Um, we should get to Sarajevo around four. I don't know at this point. <laughs> it's literally four o'clock, we just got here. I just stopped at a restaurant, like the bus station is behind me. I just stopped at this place right here because like I'm obviously starving. I just don't really know how to order food. Because I don't think anybody speaks English. So we're about to find out. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, I've ordered some food. It's allegedly, according to Google, one of Bosnia's national dishes. So it's called che chevapi. Chevapi. I don't know. It probably got pork in it, but y'all, like, when I say I'm not eating since 9 o'clock last night, like, yeah. Here we are. Um, it looks like sausage, right? It's good, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at the hostel now it is 5 23 p.m so i'm going to show you the room um, and explain to you what's going to be happening next
So my current issue in Bosnia is the fact that I don't have any cash and majority of these places are cash only. The good news is that I leave tomorrow. <laughs> um, the bad news is that like I did want to like get around and explore a little bit but I mean I might do that tomorrow morning and like get out and try to explore a little bit but I can't do anything. I am tired of walking because I had to walk from the bus station to my hostel. It was about two and a half miles. It was 40 minutes. At least 20 of those minutes were straight uphill with me carrying my suitcase and my belongings. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to, well, luckily, luckily the little market next door takes cart that I asked the man. So. After I gather myself, I'm going to go over there, get me a whole bunch of water, because I'm thirsty. Give me some snacks, because that's probably what I'm going to be eating for dinner. And I'm glad that they have a TV in here, so I can sit here and watch and get in my pajamas and watch TV and hydrate myself to my heart's content. Bosnia honestly seems like a really nice place. Y'all, like, don't get me wrong. It really seems like it's a, like, gorgeous place gorgeous country i would love to come back i plan on coming back at least for a few days but i know that i need copious amounts of cash to do so and it's just the situation i'm in um currently that because my wallet was stolen and split i'm literally shit out of luck other good news is that because i leave tomorrow obviously at the airport like places take card and tomorrow i go back to budapest um, and I know that they take card because I was just in Budapest last week. Like I didn't have, I haven't had this cash only problem until I got to Bosnia. So that's, that's useful. Like I won't be eating snacks and stuff for dinner, but I also, the hostel only takes cash. So I'm like, can y'all send me like a, a PayPal link or something or something? Because like, so the man, like he was really nice. He's like, yeah, like I'm going to talk to the owner. We're going to figure it out because I was like, I really don't have a way to, I know people are like you can take cash out from a credit card but i really i really don't want to do a cash advance like that is like my last 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 resort i don't want to do that because i don't want to have to pay the fees on that like i don't want to have to do that to only be here in bosnia till tomorrow my flight leaves tomorrow at 2 45 p.m so i can drink water and fill up on snacks and go in the morning you know maybe do some walking around da 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 and also fun fact here didn't think i realized that it wasn't in the eu so i have to pay for my phone service and i had to use it a little bit to get to and from the bus station to here but yeah and i turned it on and it doesn't even freaking work so not only am i feel like i'm finna have to pay for something that don't even work i've been basically doing wi-fi only so that's why my walking around is going to be minimal because i don't know where to walk around to and i ain't trying to get lost so i'm probably gonna be right here to be honest with you i'm probably gonna be right here till in the morning okay that was me talking for four minutes but that, that's that's what's going on so Bosnia seems like a really nice place. Sarajevo itself seems like a really nice place. This hostel is actually really nice. I forgot I booked a private bathroom, so yay me. And I'll record and show you more of the hostel later, but that's really, that's all I got. I am defeated. <laughs> so mm, y'all might see something tomorrow or, or you might not. Don't depend on that. It is what it is. At this point, I am just waiting to get back to where I live in Spain. So that I can get myself together and regroup. We cooking with fish grease now. <laughs> I went to the market and we have dinner and breakfast. <laughs> so I will show y'all. Here we have dinner. You know. Breakfast. And yeah, I will probably finish. Like, I'm so, so thirsty, so I got two of these. And baby, I needed some wine. Even if I don't eat all this, I can at least bring, like, save one, you know, to take with me. So, yes, ma'am. So that's it for the evening. We're done. Y'all y'all won't see me again till tomorrow. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a much better day than me. Hello and good morning. It is Sunday, April 16th. It is a little after 10.30. It's 10.34. Um, I did get up early with the intention of like going to explore a little bit. Um, 
But then when I see like the stuff that I wanted to explore, it literally was like right by where the bus station is that I'm supposed to get on the airport bus. So I was like, I'm not walking down there. I'm not walking down there twice. I'm just have to go down there with my bag so that y'all can see a little bit of Bosnia. Originally I had planned for like this vlog and my night in Budapest vlog to be separate, but now I think I'm gonna put them together because I leave here. Um, my flight's at 2.45 to fly to from here to in Sarajevo to Serbia, the capital of Serbia, Belgrade, I think. Yeah, Belgrade. And then I have a three hour layover there and then I fly from Belgrade to Budapest. So I don't get into Budapest until basically nine o'clock at night. So there's not gonna be anything for you to see anyway, except for me getting food <laughs> and going to the hostel that I booked for the night. Like that's pretty much gonna be all that's there. So that's why I think now we're just gonna combine these vlogs and it's gonna be a day in Sarajevo plus a night in Budapest. So we're getting close to the end of my journey. I'm very ready to go home um just so i can like start like i think we've settled like everything and like all of my stuff to replace like all of my american cards ids whatever but i need to start the process for the stuff over here on the spanish side so that's mainly what i'm concerned with at this point so yeah i packed up we're ready to go and they gave me a little map and i downloaded an offline google maps so that i can you know make sure i get on the right bus do the right thing and yeah head to the airport probably a little they said the bus comes every 30 minutes so i probably want to head there a little like around 11 30 11 45 i don't know i was gonna ask him do they have a timetable but if they don't i'm just gonna stand there until i see the bus that i need <laughs> yeah that's pretty much everything i can think of right now so we are almost there we are almost home <laughs> one more day oh that's what i forgot um i am gonna show you all the hostel and the area around the hostel really quick um so that you can see um because i forgot to do that yesterday but yeah that is that is everything <laughs> So this was the level that my room was on. You can see those are the public use bathrooms for those in dorm rooms, but I had a private room at the hostel. And this is the second floor, but this is where the check-in is done. And this is where you walk in at and everybody leaves their shoes. So I thought that was very interesting. Those were mine. This is right outside the hostel. So that's what it looked like there in Sarajevo. And that was the market that I depended on while I was there and as I kept walking about 20 minutes from the hostel was the eternal flame and the eternal flame is there in memoriam of some victims from World War II and here we are in downtown Sarajevo. So here now at the eternal flame my walk took a little longer than expected it's like 11 10 so I'm about to just walk to the bus stop because I don't want to delay the process of getting to the airport since um yeah i just don't want to delay that since i've been having a lot of issues <laughs> so yeah but there it is the eternal flame and it's quite warm i can feel the warmth right here as i was making my way to the bus stop i saw this beautiful church and i saw these older gentlemen outside playing chess so i thought it was really cute and wholesome and there were really nice views. This is more so downtown Sarajevo. I don't remember what this was, but it looks like ruins of something, so I wanted to record that. And I did actually make it to the bus. <laughs> Yay me. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I have made it to the airport. It is 12.52. I would like to say that, um, Bosnia is really cool and I would like to come back but it is one of the hardest cities in Europe that I've had to navigate being the fact that like they really haven't automated much of anything because when you look on like maps Google Maps any map they do not have like a way to look at the transit so I think they have an app but it's not it's not in English so what good would that do to me so the guy at the hostel basically told me like he dropped a pen and he was like, this is where you need to get on the bus. The buses are not automated. Like, like you know how if you look at a bus that has like an illuminated number and it's like, this is the number? No, they got a, a piece of plastic on the front windshield at the front of the bus saying that this is what the bus is. So I took the bus, went to the pen, got off where uh, the man who worked at the hostel told me to get off and walked about 20 minutes here to the airport. Anyway, I made it. Um, it was just, a, it was a bit difficult, but um, his directions were very clear, but if it weren't for him, I don't know what I would have did. So shout outs to him. But we're here now at the airport. I'm about to um, check in and get myself together. Um, and I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, hello. It is 4.31. I 
um, I have not checked in in a while because a lot happened. When I got to the Bosnia airport, they informed me that my flight was for tomorrow, not today. So when I went to go check my email, I realized that they have been sent, Air Serbia have been sending me emails all week about like how my flight has changed. Every time it was a different time, 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 but it never was a different date until the last email. So I had to buy a last minute ticket. Don't ask me how much that costs, unless you want to donate. I had to buy a last minute ticket from Sarajevo. I'm now in Vienna. I'm here in Vienna till about nine o'clock to fly to Budapest tonight. So I'm here at this little Italian place. Um, I don't know if you know Jamie Oliver, but it's his little airport Italian place. I'm here to eat and get myself together um, because if it ain't one thing, it's another. And I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> if you thought I was tired yesterday, I'm really tired now. So I'm back here in um, Vienna so I can eat something and drink something and mind my business. Arabiata, which is usually supposed to be spicy, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna add a little pepper, but it's hot, like, temperature-wise. <laughs> they just got this out, out the pot. <laughs> I just wanted to check in. It's a little after 9 o'clock. It's 9.06, about to pour to Budapest. Again, per usual, at this point, so much has happened to me. I'm just trying to get home. So just bear with me. But I'm here now in Vienna Airport, which you've already seen. Nothing new. If you go back and watch my Prague vlog, or either Prague or something this week. I've been here this week is the point. Watch that. You've seen the airport. It's nothing special. Regular airport. But we are about to board to Budapest. And then tomorrow I will finally be back to Spain okay hello I am alive still um, it is almost 1130 it's 1127 here I checked into Meninger Meninger hotels obviously I'm only here for a short amount of time I'll show you the room y'all is jumping like Jordan down there like I don't know like if people are trying to check into the hostel or like what like people are doing in the lobby but like I do not feel comfortable recording in the lobby because it is at least like 60 people just down there I don't know what they're doing but I'll show you my room I do have a private room private bathroom so I'm very glad I have a private room private bathroom because it is way too many people in here to be sharing a bathroom at, at this at this stage in my travel journey I would I would have been aggravated so I'm sure the room is cute obviously I'm gonna be here for not that long and I'm hungry when I was coming from the bus stop I saw a kebab place that was open I'm gonna come go there come back take a shower that's it that's it for me so I'm gonna show you my room um it's cute it'll do for the night um yeah Hello and good morning. It is finally Monday, April 17th. It's 7.31 a.m. So luckily I pre-booked hotel breakfast. I'm about to go downstairs and eat me some hotel breakfast. But yeah, I have a flight here at 10.40 a.m. from Budapest to Madrid. And I think I have like two or three hours of lag time and then I get on the bus from Madrid to Santander. I have never been more ready to get my ass home. Never <laughs> in my life. Y'all know I love traveling, but this has been the most challenging past three days since my since my wallet got stolen like everything has been a nightmare so um yeah but it is what it is I'm just trying to get myself home so I can get my life together so yeah I will see y'all when I see y'all but ain't that much left to see because we in the home stretch I had very little memory left on my camera so the rest of these clips are from my phone but that was just the hotel breakfast and then the path from the bus I took to the airport and then me on the very simple, you've already seen on many of my vlogs, Ryan Airplane to fly to Madrid. Hello everybody, just checking in. It is 2.52, so a little before three o'clock. My bus boards at, well, it's supposed to leave at 3.15, so I'm here waiting to see what 
parking space it's going to drive into. Um, the bus journey, I believe, is like four and a half hours from here in Madrid. Then there's a stop in Burgos and then the stop in Santander. So the bus should be pulling up shortly here in the next 10 minutes. Um, this is literally the last leg to get me home. That and calling a, calling a cabify, AKA Spanish Uber, <laughs> when I get to the bus station in Santander. So I am so ready to be home. And it's hot here in Madrid, so I'm ready to take me a shower, order me some, um, some Globo, AKA <laughs> Spanish Postmates and lay it down and watch your love is blind. <laughs> so I will see y'all here very soon. On the bus, it is 3.27, so I am so excited to get back home in about four and a half, five hours. <laughs> I've never been this excited to go to Santander in my life. I will see y'all, I will see y'all then. Hey y'all. <laughs> After that little clip I recorded of us on the bus like traveling I believe we were in Burgos so that was a really cool view because I've been to Burgos before but I haven't seen that um I didn't record anything else because baby soon as they pulled into Santander I got my stuff I got off the bus I went straight to the taxi line went to the first taxi said baby take me home because normally I would take the city bus to my house but remember I don't have a bus card anymore <laughs> because of thieves <laughs> five countries in 10 days i knew it would be challenging right like i'm not saying that it wasn't going to be challenging but y'all what i experienced like <laughs> i i literally don't even have words because there were just so many highs and just so many lows like i went through so many physical mental emotional challenges in the past 10 days um i have never been so happy to be back in santander I saved the little piece of memory I have on my camera for my final recording here today because baby it's been it's been but I hope y'all have enjoyed this journey and I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna take a break for a little bit but by the time I'm back traveling y'all will know <laughs> but I need some time to get my affairs in order but until then I will see y'all next time this one was definitely one for the books <laughs>